So in concentrated liquidity, you can add liquidity to two tokens. It's called a pair also. It could be ETH, BTC, UCT, RAP, BNB. And you can see these pairs have fees. So when people swap from the token, one token to another, the liquidity providers, which is you, market maker, are getting those fees. So this is 0.3% fees pool, for example, ETH, BTC, which means that every time someone swaps from ETH to BTC and vice versa, um, the liquidity providers get 0.3% of this swap, of this trade. Here, the TVL basically shows you how much money is added to this liquidity pool. This is the volume in the 24 hours. As you can see, it stands on zero because it's not updated, as well as the volume for the last seven days. And this is where the opportunities are because it's pretty new pools that don't have data and the opportunity is there. You will see in a second how. So unlike version two in Uniswap version two, in version three, we have something called concentrated liquidity, which means that you set a price range. When you provide, let's say, liquidity for Bitcoin and stable coins, let's say USDT or USDC, you put a range where you, your liquidity will be used. For example, if we look at the chart of Bitcoin in the last month, we can see that the price chart of Bitcoin is going between 60 to 70K most of the time. So a good price range would be from 60 to 70K. If you want to provide liquidity of USDT and Bitcoin and be always in the range, so your money is always working, you want to make sure that the range is makes sense and based on the historical information. So you can see if you want it to last longer, you can take a look at the last three months and you can see that it's between 40 to 70K. So you can set your range a bit bigger, but it means that you're going to get less fees because your liquidity will be distributed along all this range. So let's say you provide a liquidity on the range between 60 to 70K Bitcoin and USDT. What happens when the price of Bitcoin rises above 70K? It means that you're going to get out of range. So your liquidity is not working anymore and all your assets will be converted to the less performing asset. Since Bitcoin went up, the less performing asset is stablecoin. So all your money will be converted to USDT. Same works to the other direction. So if Bitcoin goes below 60K, which is the lower range, all your money will be converted to Bitcoin, right? Because this is the less performing asset. Bitcoin decreased in price, so you'll be left only with Bitcoins. So it's important to understand that when you provide liquidity in Uniswap for two tokens and you set this range, when you get out of the range, two things happen. First, all your assets are being converted to the less performing range. And second, your assets are not generating fees anymore because your liquidity is out of range. It doesn't mean that you cannot withdraw the liquidity. You can always withdraw the liquidity based on the assets that you have. Uh, but it just means that it's not going to work for you. It's not going to print money based on those fees.